So I've been on this, I guess you could call it journey in life or, you know, basically in improving my own self. You know, I've been on this journey for quite a bit of time now. I'm not going to say that I've been on it for five years or 10 years, but I've been on it for quite a bit of time now where, you know, I've been taking care of myself. I've been working on myself, you know, working out, you know, making sure that I take care of myself, making sure that I take care of myself mentally, because I feel like mental, mentally, you got to be very strong. And so I've just been doing the inner work. I've been doing the inner work. I've been doing the external, the, the external work as well. I've just, I've just been taking care of myself. You get the gist, right? I've just been taking care of myself, which I hope all of you are taking care of yourself as well. I've come to realize now that I've, as I've been on this journey of bettering myself and i'm pretty sure a lot of you out there probably has have noticed this as well have experienced this as well yourselves is that i started to notice that as you start to get as you, as you start to improve yourself like if you as you start to take care of yourself as you start to better yourself i've come to realize that the the, the amount of people that you that you associated with the people who you used to talk to every day or the people who you used to text to every day it will be lower you will start to text or talk to people a lot less if not maybe even nobody you will get to the, to the point where you will be talking to nobody it comes to a point where you're better yourself it comes to a point where you will start to be very picky with who you talk to and i don't know if anyone else has experienced this themselves but i come to realize that i have become so 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 picky with who i talk to with who i share my energy with because i i look at talking to someone as sharing energy with someone your words are energy spelling right like when you spell your words like spelling it's like it's like you're casting spells so i look at words as being energy you know, I look at when you hang out with someone, I look at that as sharing energy with someone, as, you know, transferring energies with someone else. You know, when you don't get along with someone, it's because your energy doesn't vibe with someone else's energy. So I look at it as energy. You know, I look at it as sharing energy with someone else. And as I've been on this, you know, like I said, journey on, you know, I've been taking care of myself. I've been better at myself. I've come to realize that I'm very picky with who I talk to now. That has led me to, you know, I don't want to say I've gotten rid of people that I've talked to, but it has led me to speaking less or, or, or distancing myself with people who I used to talk to back then. Because I just realized that the things that we would talk about back then just really don't matter to me anymore at this point. You know, like, like talking to talking to someone about celebrities, like to me, that's like a waste of time because it's like... What do I gain? And it's, it's not even looking at it as what do I gain from it, but it's like what what's the point of talking about someone else's life? Like when, when like for example, you ever had friends who you talk to and you you guys are talking about someone's relationship, like celebrity relationship or something like that, or like you're talking about the celebrity, how much money they're making, or or like oh they got beef with some other celebrity, or you know things that really don't things that really don't to me at this point really don't make sense or really don't matter to me like personally to me that's not something that i enjoy talking about and so it's gotten to the point now that i've stopped talking to certain people or i've stopped i've stopped talking to a lot of people because of the conversations that we used to have really don't they really have don't big really don't have much of importance to me at this point and i feel like a lot of people experience this when they're trying to better themselves or when they're improving themselves it comes to a point where you will start to become very picky with who you're talking to and who you hang around with and who you associate yourself with. And I look at this as a good thing, but I also look at this as a bad thing, right? Because I look at this as a bad thing in the fact that when you become very picky with who you talk to, you will you will most likely end up with no friends or you will mostly end up with very few friends. But I also look at this as a good thing because, you know, I look at it as like the less friends you have, the more peaceful you will be with life the more peaceful you will be with yourself now that also depends on the people that you hang around with right because that doesn't mean that if you have a lot of friends that doesn't mean that you're going to be involved in some drama right but it also depends on the people that you hang around with right because i, I can have a lot of good friends and that doesn't mean that i'm going to be involved in some sort of drama right like i could have a lot of friends that are working on themselves as well that doesn't mean that i'm going to have a lot of drama it all depends on the people that you that you be, that you basically hang out with the people who you talk to right like when, when you when you meet a friend right you, when you're talking to someone who is not your friend yet, but they're about to be your friend or you kind of like the, the vibe, you know, you kind of like their energy. It's like it's like you're doing like an interview. Like you, you ever go to a job and you get an interview and, and the person is like interviewing you and they're trying to see if you're a good fit for the company. It's the same way. That, it's the same way with friends. It's the same way with relationships. When you're trying to be friends with someone or you're trying to have a relationship with someone, you're basically interviewing them to see if they're a good fit to be in your circle you're basically interviewing them to see if you vibe with their energy if you know you you guys are going to be a good fit if you guys are going to be good friends or you guys are going to be in a good relationship like you're basically interviewing them even though you're not asking them questions like sitting down and you have a piece of paper and you're like asking them questions it's not going to be like that but when you're talking to someone you kind of get to know them in a little bit right like the way they talk or the way they express themselves you know their mindset 
people people expose themselves fully just by the type way they talk by the by what they say like people don't realize this but people expose themselves people you get to know someone really well by how they express themselves their mindset and everything so when you're talking to someone when you when you are about to be friends with someone or you're about to be in a relationship with someone you kind of interview them to see if they're going to be a good fit for you to see if they're going to be like to see if you vibe with them energy wise to see if you 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 mess with their vibes and things like that and most likely if you if the energies don't correlate if you don't you know if the energies ain't ain't there if the energy ain't there if if the vibes ain't there then most likely you won't talk to that person or you will kind of feel iffy about it you'll kind of be like you know i don't like this person vibe or you know you know like you you will feel like you know i don't i don't i can't i don't really like you know mess with this person like that you know it's because your energies didn't vibe with this person and i'm pretty sure a lot of people experience this as well it's gotten to the point where i'm so picky with who i talk to i'm so picky with who i you know hang around with i'm so picky i'm so picky with people of who I talk to to the point where you know it's gone to the point where I I'm okay with not talking to anyone at all because I feel like when you talk to no one I feel like it's so peaceful because you have no sort of drama you are so focused there's no distractions you know you don't got to text somebody you got you don't got to be on the phone with somebody you don't got to be on FaceTime with somebody I feel like it's very peaceful when you have a little bit of friends or like no friends at all and but at the same time this is like a con in a, in a pro, right? Because a pro is like you feel good, you feel peaceful, but at the same time, it could get kind of lonely. Because it's like we humans, we human nature, we seek other humans. We seek communication with other human beings. It's always been like that since since back in the days when, you know, the cavemen existed and things like that. You know, it always existed like, like that. It always been that way. Humans, we crave interaction with other human beings. And when you are, if you were to spend your time alone all the time, like I'm talking about like speaking to no one, like not even family. Like I'm talking about you being on yourself. If you were to do that sooner or later, you're going to seek human interaction because that's just part of your human nature. You cannot ignore human nature. You cannot ignore the fact that you, by nature of being a human, you seek other humans to interact with. That's just something that's part of our nature. And so when you try to neglect this idea, you will start to feel lonely. You will start to feel kind of like, in a way, kind of depressive because... You're trying to ignore the fact that you don't need human interaction where in reality you do need human interaction. Now, I'm not saying that you need friends. I'm not saying that you need a relationship. I don't, I'm not saying that. But what I'm saying is that you, you can't neglect the fact that as humans you seek interaction with other human beings. That's just a fact. And if you want, you can go look it up. You can go talk to psychologists. It's just a fact. We as humans, we, in, we look for hum, human interaction. We seek human interaction. You know, and, and and this is like a contradicting thing when it comes to when you're trying to improve yourself, when you're trying to better yourself, when you are doing the work, when you're doing the inner work, when you're working towards yourself. It kind of contradicts because you're in this position where you are peaceful when you're not talking to a lot of people. You're peaceful because, you know, there's no drama, there's no distractions. But at the same time, you know that you as a human, you seek human interaction. So it's like these two contradicting things are like battling, battling each other. They're fighting each other because at the same time, you like your peace. But at the same time, you want to have human interaction with other people. You know, so is it one of those two things where I feel like I feel like everybody who's working on themselves, I feel like everybody who's, you know, improving themselves, self-improvement, personal development. I feel like everyone gets to this point where they get very picky with people. They get very picky with talking to whoever it is, like even with family, it gets to the point where you will be even picky. You know, I, family is everything, right? Family is everything. But there, you can't lie that there's some family who, you know you can't really talk to that much that much because you know maybe their vibe isn't there or maybe they don't have the same mindset as you or they don't share the same mindset or maybe they're onto other different things that you're just not interested in you know we have all been there where we we have certain family like that and that's okay there's nothing wrong with that i'm not saying cut them off right but it gets to the point where even in general like when it comes to friends in general right even when even when it comes to women bro like for in your case if you're a girl you know it could be a guy as well it even comes to the point where you even picky as hell with being in a relationship like you're so picky like you don't want to be you don't want to be with just any girl you want to be with this certain girl you know who fits all your criteria and if they don't fit the criteria if they don't even fit one of the criteria that you have you just won't talk to that girl like it gets to that point when you start to better yourself and improve yourself it gets to that point where you'll be so picky with people when it comes to friends and even when it comes to relationships you will be so picky because you just won't try to mess with any type of girl. You won't try to mess with any girl who, you know, it gets to the point where you're betting yourself that you just won't try to mess with any girl that doesn't fit your criteria, that doesn't, doesn't, that doesn't check off the list, you know, because we all have a list. 
an invisible list where we, we all have an invisible list when it comes to a girl we look at that list and we try to see if it checks off everything and if it checks off everything then yeah you know this girl you know i like this girl you know it, this girl can potentially be my girlfriend and things like that like we all got that invisible list where we check off whenever we're talking to someone you know and it's gone to the point with me and I, like I said, I'm pretty sure everyone, anyone who's been on this improvement journey, I'm pretty sure everyone experiences as well. But it's gotten to the point with me that even with girls, bro, I am very picky with a girl that I talk to. Like I can't just talk to any girl if the girl doesn't check off the 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 the, the list. If it doesn't check off the list, if the girl does something or is, or is into something that I'm just not into or i just don't agree with and i just won't talk to that girl and it wasn't like this before like when before when i wasn't improving myself when i wasn't giving a shit about myself when i was you know out here you know i wasn't taking care of myself back then i didn't have no type of i wasn't picky with people as i started to get older and as i started to get better i started to take care of myself and this happened more recently you know as i started to better myself i started to I've started to notice that I've been more picky and back then it wasn't the case and I feel like this is the case with people who don't improve themselves when people don't take care of themselves they're not that picky with people who they associate with compared to when you're taking care of yourself I feel like when you take care of yourself you are way more picky with the people who you hang out with with the people who you talk to with the girls that you talk to or you know the guys that you talk to like I feel like it gets to that point where you get very picky with people that it gets to the point where you you basically don't even have friends or you don't even have a relationship because you're so picky with the people who you talk to that you can't make friends that easily and it gets to the point where you're so picky with the relationships that you want to be in that you know you go out on dates or you talk to these different people and you just can't find the match like the vibe is just not there or the, or they don't check off the list when you're trying to be in a relationship with someone you're basically interviewing them but you're just like talking to them you know you're starting a conversation you guys are sharing each other you know you're getting to know her better she's getting to know you better it's kind of like an interview to see if you know this person the mindset that they have you know to see this person the energy to see if they vibe with your energy and you know i just i just feel like everyone who improves themselves or anyone who takes care of themselves who really takes care of themselves i'm talking about really takes care of themselves i feel like they all get to that point where they're very picky with people that they like i said they either don't have that many relationships or they are very picky with their relationships and they're also very picky with the friends that they have and it gets to the point where you have a very small circle or even to the point where you have no friends and i don't look at this as a bad thing as much because i feel like we it, it, it will get to the point where you're gonna have a lot of friends or it will get to the point where you're gonna be in a relationship but you're gonna be in a relationship with the person who you want to be and when it comes to the friends you will have friends who you want to be your friends you know these are just not any friends these are friends who share the same values as you or similar values, you know, similar mindset, you know, similar goals. You guys are working towards bettering yourselves. It's gonna get to that point sooner or later, and I know it is. But I just feel like anyone who's ever, who's been on this journey, everyone, anyone who's on this journey, I feel like it gets to that point where you're gonna be very picky with the people who you hang out with, with the people who you talk to. That you may even, in a way, you know, you may even, in a way, it depends on you, but you may even like get to feel a little bit lonely in a way, and it is normal for that to happen. But I feel like this i feel like in the brighter side of things like when you look at it at the bright side i feel like you're gonna end up having friends who share the same values as you like i said similar goals similar mindset and you're also going to be in a relationship sooner or later with the person who similar goals or similar mindset as well someone who you vibe with energy wise you know and it's, it's going to get to that point it, i know it is it's not it's not like this thing is forever i, I feel like it's going to get to that point sooner or later you know you, like i remember I read, I read this quote where it said sooner or later you're going to find your tribe who you fit in with, you know, who the, the the tribe who you all vibe with. And I feel the same way as well. I feel like sooner or later, it's gonna get to the point where the friends that, that I'll have will be way more, they'll share the similar mindset as me. And, you know, they'll share the similar values, similar, you know, the goals as well. We all working towards the same thing. And the same way with the relationship. I feel like sooner or later, you know, I'm not rushing relationships, but I feel like sooner or later, it's gonna get to that point where I'll find that, you know, one girl who, you know, we, share the similar values, share similar mindset. She doesn't particularly have to be doing the same thing that I'm doing, but she understands what I'm doing and I understand what she's doing and we both support each other to push ourselves to reach that next goal. I just wanna share this because I'm pretty sure anyone out there who's on this journey on improving themselves, I'm pretty sure anyone has, I'm pretty sure everyone has experienced this in some way or form, you know, and at one point in their life. And you're probably experiencing this right now. And I wanna say that, you know, you're not alone. You know, it's gonna get better either way. It may take a little bit harder to find. It may be taking a little bit more finding, but it's all good. Sooner or later, you're gonna get to that point. But anyways, 
That's what I gotta say. I'm out.